Not everything is a hot rod, and a minivan most certainly is not. But I do have a broken wheel stud on my wife's minivan. And it's on the front, and people think, uh-oh, that's front wheel drive, so what's involved with all that? Well, I'm gonna make a really fast video to show you it's actually not a big deal. And uh, I've already knocked it out of there, but let me show you what I had to do. Just take a minute, those of you that are interested, Let's see what we got here. There's a broken wheel stud. Here we go. See, Dodge 2012 Dodge minivan. There's a broken wheel stud. So what you gotta do, you gotta pull your caliper, right? Pull the caliper, two little bolts right there. Then you gotta pull this thing. This is what holds the caliper, these two bigger bolts. And that is 21, millimeters and a 13 and then this has to be at about three o'clock because of the way it is back here that's where that's where you're going to have room to knock it out so you got to make sure your wheel is at three o'clock when you take the tire off and then you just knock it out and stick the new one in there and tighten everything all back up again and that people Is it? You don't even have to pull the rotor. You don't have to do none of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the new stud in it, put the brake caliber back on, put the wheel back on, and I'm done. It, it, I mean, it's 20 minutes. It's nothing. And the back, well, you've probably changed them in the back. They're just like an ordinary car. Just pull the wheel off, pull the drum, knock them out, put them back in. When you put the wheel back on, it'll draw them up. That's it. Some cars are not so easy. This one happens to be. This one's a 2012 Dodge minivan. All right, please subscribe to me. Thank you, and I'll talk to you a little later.